Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Virgo's monthly overview, monthly guidance message for April 2021. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies here with the Psychic Tarot deck. We'll dig a little bit deeper into the message with a traditional deck. I'll pull a few cards at the end for some advice, guidance moving forward, as well as a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Virgo, what we can see for you guys for April 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here for a Virgo spirit, which is Virgo. Need to see. Please and thank you. I feel like there may be a need here to get in touch with your self. Okay. Trusting your intuition, I feel here may come up as the challenge, Virgo. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Underlying energy, we have transformation. Death energy. The overall energy this month is power. This is strength in traditional tarot. It's working in your favor is destiny. This is wheel of fortune energy. It's challenging you. Is of pentacles brand new beginning brand new opportunity what i feel here is taking place virgo is i feel like things are going to start speeding up for you in a certain area of your life now for a lot of you this is going to be in business this is going to be in career this is going to be financially driven but I feel like you're, because the outcome is the firm foundation, I'm feeling like that is symbolizing, Virgo, that you're going to need to focus on the foundation a little bit more before this is going to feel stable because what I see here is this is a, a business venture career opportunity that you've just gotten involved in. It's a brand new opportunity venture. For some of you, this is hasn't even been presented yet. This isn't going to even be presented until April. Once this opportunity is presented, it's going to take it's going to take off quickly. And I feel here, Virgo, that for some of you, you may not be prepared for how quickly this takes off. Spirit is calling you to focus on the foundation. So let's dig a little bit deeper into these energies here, Virgo, for you. For the month of April, 2021, please and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not gonna resonate every time with every person really about the title if there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for you for information on energy cleanse kits how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings extended versions it's all linked below and virgo if you like the vibe how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's see here, Virgo, what we can see for you guys. April 2021. So clarifying this transformation, this death energy, we have the three of wands with the judgment. So 
what we see here, what I see here, there is a situation at hand, Virgo, that um, you're about to embark on. For some of you, this could be a relationship, but for most of you, this is going to play out as a career venture, business opportunity. But I feel like once this opportunity is presented, things are going to take off very quickly. So if this is in the context of a relationship, this is a person who you meet and they probably sweep you off your feet and things get married within, within six months, you'll be married. For those of you that this is a business venture career opportunity, this is going to be an opportunity that is brand new and it's going to be presented and you're going to have to jump on this. Okay. You're going to have to act quickly. However, because this is a new opportunity, you're not going to be prepared as well as you would like. And for those first six months, you might want to focus on the foundation. By doing so, it will lead you to a very special opportunity that we have here, Virgo. Okay? Clarifying the strength card is the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune energy is the Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. So there we see, okay, that indecisive energy. And the seven of wands is a blockage okay your you have a potential for a very stable solid opportunity that's coming your way virgo you're needing to get prepared for that okay how to get prepared for that right how do you get prepared for that well getting all your ducks in a row right financially paying off any debts any credit cards that you may have lingering so that way that doesn't hinder your business moving forward. This could also um, symbolize maybe a career opportunity where you're going to need to maybe learn, right? Gain some education, night energy that's studious energy, okay? You could very well be needing to learn something in order to bring this opportunity to fruition. Uh, maybe it's presented, but you're going to have to do some training. Um, so keep that in mind. Be open. Okay. I do feel like this is going to be a very abundant opportunity here with the King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Those cards both symbolize stability. Okay. Firm foundation. What's holding you back, Virgo? I feel here it might not be something that you, it may be more, it may feel more like work than anything at the beginning, okay? And the reason why I say at the beginning is because you're building that foundation. So you're going to need to learn new things. You're going to need to get in a, a routine, which is always going to be difficult. Any change is always a challenge. But I do feel here, if you take the right steps, focus on the foundation and the things that you need to learn, the things that you need to gather, getting your ducks in a row here. Um, this is a very important opportunity that's coming your way here, Virgo, that could be very abundant and it could bring you stability, okay? Let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance, moving forward. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look into your person's energy to the other person's energy here. Now, if this is resonating, you're more than welcome in joining us over there. The links are all below. In the extended version, guys, we'll take a little bit deeper look into see if there's anything hidden that you need to be made aware of. What are the intentions moving forward? Where is this all headed? The next steps and the outcome, if the advice is followed, all going down in the extended and the links are all below. So Virgo, advice guidance moving forward.
So remember how in the beginning I was saying how you need to trust your intuition a little better. Trust your intuition more. You're the only person that's going to hold you back from this opportunity. Okay. And I do see that being a possibility. If you're not clear on the path that you want to take. If you're not open to opportunities that come your way. Okay. What I feel here, Virgo, is this may be something that's presented to you that you might not be so on board with. Okay. Maybe like, mm, but I feel here, this is something that can turn out to be very, very abundant. Okay. Very positive. So what I feel, Virgo, is don't, don't be too hasty when saying no to an opportunity. Maybe think about it for a little bit. Ask a few questions. What I see is there is an opportunity for stability coming your way. And it's coming very quickly. You're going to have to make the decision here, Virgo, for yourself if this is something that you're going to take advantage of or walk away from. Okay, I do feel like it's something that could be very abundant if you are well ready and willing to build that foundation. That foundation piece is going to be very important here moving forward. So, let's pull a few cards out here. Let's pull a card out for your soul journey message, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you found the message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Virgo. Your soul journey message for this month is surrender. I release, I can release my need to control. You need to understand the distinction between power and control. You have the power of internal control, but very little external control over people or situations. The majority of your external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path, and it is not your job to dictate it. Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go. Your soul, too, has a path, and it possesses the power to control it, but you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another. Remember that this is a process, and from time to time, your ego will rise up and demand that things must be this way, and should be. Envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you think you need to control, and let them ride away in the balloon. You'll be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and accept the energy of surrender, doors will open that you never expected. Because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what you need for your highest soul growth. Virgo, there's going to be an opportunity that's going to be directed on your path that is going to be a blessing in disguise. Okay, this is going to look like something that might seem like it's going to be tedious, it's going to be a lot of work, it's going to take a lot of effort. What is being called for you to trust the process and go with the flow? Try, see what happens. You never know. You never know what could happen. It could turn out to be the best opportunity of your life. Let's pull this for truths card for your for truths message don't take anything personally see other people as they are 
when you see other people as they are without taking it personally, you can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if others lie to you, it is okay. They are lying to you because they are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. See people as they are. Beautiful, beautiful Virgo. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.